Paul. We got this. This Paul is Paul Jarchian, and you are we listening to the there. butthole. Oh, fuck yeah. The D. That was fucking good shit having charge on. Is he ever going to come Welcome back after we said to the official Bud Hole podcast? What are you thinking of the Bud Hole? Bringing you everything you need know. from sports to entertainment. He still tweets at us now, a lot. Yeah. Does he? Introducing well, our host. He responds to us. Scott. Yeah. The great brand. I think if we try and get him before June, Ages he would do it. Oh, yeah. And star Lamar. We should try. All right, Charchin, if you heard us, this is the Bud Hole podcast. Sponsored by Blue Collar Media Sports. Media, Media group. group, sorry. Uh, they're, they're into sports <laughs> and a lot of other things. I can't read. It's right behind me, and I just goof for a second. But, Church, if you're there, fucking come back on the show, man. We'd love to hear you. We'd love to have you. Yeah, that's a hard There we stop. go. That was we should have the best throughout the show. What's up, everybody? Welcome into episode number, I don't know where we are, 304-ish? Yeah, around there. It's the I thought we quit counting Ides of March. 300. There's no sense in counting. We'll count again once we get to like 399. 28th of March. All the buds are here tonight, which is... Yeah, we can finally do the Batman review now that Scott's here. Sweet. It's true. It's Live true. and in action. Scott, have you seen it yet? I have not. All right, no. we'll just push it off another week. No, let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it openly in front of everybody. <laughs> well, he did listen to our podcast, so he heard about it already, right, Oh, Scott? you did listen? I don't listen. I don't get high on your Shut own supply. Up. Star I, I thought I taught you right. Uh, you would have had to have posted that to listen. It never got posted? I never posted it. I don't know. Brandon had to post it because I can't log into the fucking account anymore. Yeah, what the fuck's up with that? Whatever. It's on my account. We got rid of ours. Yeah. It's on you. Or it's on Blue Collar Media Sports. Group. No. <laughs> Entity. What do you mean that you got rid of it? We don't have the butthole account. So now it's this other account that I don't know. So then every time we're invited, we're all No, guests. we did that on Butthole. We didn't do that on we, Butthole. That wasn't a live stream. I'm so confused. That wasn't we, a live stream. This is why episode. I stay out of all of the tech stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done that, Star. Just to ignore that I ever got... You guys did that offline. It was here. We tried to get in no, while the no, cooking no. was hot. No, it was online. Brandon started it, and Brandon had to post it. Because Brandon had to log in. Uh, yes, but we did it... We did it online. We did it through ours. Our stream. Jump here. in that tent. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't because we had to get invited. Yeah, I had to invite you. Why would you have to invite us if it's our stream yard? Because I don't fucking know how it all works. Exactly. It wasn't our stream yard. It's the freaking blue You're just argumentative media this week. Group. You just want to argue. Entity. Entities. Login. <clears throat> Either way. Here we are. We didn't post it. It's coming soon. Is it actually not posted? No, no one posted. cares. This is Son why we got to talk bitch. about things when they happen. I yeah, tried, like Batman. I tried to engage. We no one cares posted anymore. It right yeah, away, exactly. no, it's it's going to be out. Will Smith, and by the you time this airs, people are going to be over no, that No shit one cares too. about That's fucking true. Will Smith. I would love to hear your guys' point of view on Will Smith. I've heard a lot of people talk about the award show that have never before talked about it. It got people talking. And here is why. Because that show is fucking miserable. Its ratings have been going down for literally since it began. And no one gives a shit about it. So it's just like the Super Bowl when the Super Bowl halftime show is kind of going down. What you do? You whip out a titty. You make something fun. That people are going to talk about. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Titties oh, are what, fun. what kind of payday has to come with that? Because it's still following Justin Timberlake around, still following Jan Jackson around. They're not just going to agree to be like, okay, we'll be the sheep in this. True. They're not being the sheep. They get to be talked about. They, they get, get the to publicity. be. publicity. It's got to be good. But is all, it, is it good publicity? All no, it's not good publicity. publicity. Is good publicity. Bullshit. They're, uh, they're, they're getting talking about through the you. ringer right now. There's, there, it wasn't like these are unknown people that did this. Will Smith did not need publicity. Will Smith can Come get on. talked about when he wants to get talked that about. He won the Oscar for Best Actor that night. I think they're going to take but that But what away did everyone him. talk about? I didn't know he won an Oscar last huh? night. I knew he bitch slapped Chris Rock. Yeah, but I'm just saying, it, 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 this was not people that needed to do that. This was not Jesse Smollett that went up there and slapped someone. That's true. It's true. All right? it's this was Chris Rock and Will Smith. Will two fucking fucking giant Smith. celebrities. One, if it was Jesse Smollett that fucking bitch slapped someone. It's Smollier. He no would have bitch slapped himself. No one would have talked about it. Oh, shit. It's Jesse Smollier. But it's you. Will fucking Smith, right? <laughs> this, he, they were and one. Chris they Rock. Were one-upping Kanye West. Who are you going to bitch slap? Oh, just have anyone stand up there. No. And I just want to say, too, for Chris Rock to voluntarily get bitch slapped, it's a big move. 
He's the in the move. news. It was not voluntary. It everyone was talked, completely voluntary. Everyone talked about how tough he was for it's, taking that yeah. slap. He's almost more of a hero than Zelensky. Almost. Almost. Where are we? Is I, this bad first? I, we played the wrong intro. Higher. No, but I just had to get that out of the way because it hit my brain and hey, I thought it was they, funny. Was the Zelensky radio today, there? They talked about Probably. this slap he was on every He won the award for best actor. Category. <laughs> They did talk about this 24-7 on the radio this morning. It was unreal. It was the only thing anyone could talk about. Why is that? Because it was surprising. No, it wasn't. How was it not surprising? It was just fucking... It's a Kanye boring West, show. Kanye and there West was got on stage event. at the VMAs 12 years ago. Didn't slap anyone with without... He did slap Taylor Swift with his words. And that still gets brought up. <laughs> That's true. And now this person actually slaps someone. So it's just that... On a grander scale, because it's the Oscars, not the VMAs, and there's two big celebrities. It's going to be talked about for a long time. Yeah. No, it won't. I don't think it will. It's going to be talked about for a while. You don't think it'll be referenced every time the Oscars happens? How I about think next year it will be. The year after that, it's not The titty not still mentioned. gets talked about. Yeah, because it's the Super Bowl. The titty. People still watch that. Titty still gets it, talked it about. It won't just be... When did Kanye do that? 2012. It was... What was the video? What was Taylor's video? It was uh, Bad not White Horse. It was You Belong With Me. What? It might have been 2009. You believe. Bottom line is the world we live in now is so much more like fast yeah. paced and new, new, new. There is no way that this Will Smith thing is going to be remembered three years from now. Absolutely. Will. I bet you no. in two days. People no are not like regularly talked about, but I think it will be referenced every time the what? Oscars gets. Played. I know it's the last time anything like this happened where somebody went out and punched somebody right Janet on Jackson. stage. Not a punch. Showing her boobs. That was the Not last like, ditch slap. And it's this close from being canceled. No one gives a, no regular person gives one fucking damn what Golden Globe Award winner gets. That's no, fair. I That's I would true. agree. That's Did true. you watch any of the movies that were nominated? No. I watched of the Best Pictures one. I saw four of ten. They nominate movies. Can you name five movie movies that were up for uh, an award? Yeah. No, I can't name five movies that came out in twenty twenty one. Your your best best picture, which is the big one, right? Coda was your winner. That's about the deaf people. I've never seen it. That's on Apple TV. Oh, I yeah. did, however, watch um, Wait, what West Side one? Story. So you're saying Coda. an Apple TV movie won the best the, this picture? This has been a Hulu one last year. I think a Netflix one won two years ago. This It's just a new thing with the streaming rights. Because I, I think about the ones that usually do win are like those independent artsy type movies that don't even have a big long run in the movie theaters anyways. So people are like, let's just sell them to Netflix and sell them to Hulu. And <laughs> they changed it rather because than of people aren't going to go see those uncut jams. <laughs> but they, that's why they changed West Side it, Story I saw, I thought it was awful. Okay. And I like musicals, but it just wasn't of my cup of tea. Uh, I saw Dune. Dune was nominated for Best Picture. I liked that one. King Richard was the one that Will Smith won for Best Actor. I saw that movie. That was a pretty good movie. And then there's one more. Oh, uh, Don't Look Up was nominated for Best How Picture. How is that? Come on. Oh, Don't Look Up was? Yeah. <laughs> that, what the fuck? This but then there was Belfast. That's what I'm saying. And Such a This joke. whole fucking thing is just a glop, 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 Oh, so, so this is not your it. thing. So they like sucking each other. It's off. no one's thing. It's people's things. It's freaking celebrities' things. Oh, you did so good. He's a golden guy. Their ratings were it's terrible, miserable. And if it wasn't for fucking Will Smith putting on the fucking act of his career, it was the best acting he did. If it was acting, when he's telling them to keep my wife's keep name out of your fucking mouth the oh. second time, and I, the emotion is fed. Best, yeah, concussion, kiss my ass. That was his best performance. Hey, Tops, I Uncle Phil. Agree. Concussion. Why don't he want me? Why don't he want me, man? <laughs> the best. So the memes were great. Tops Lots of really, really good movie. memes. <laughs> but my favorite one was, what did the police find when they dusted Chris Rock's face? <laughs> Fresh prints. Oh, <laughs> boom, bitch. <laughs> There's a good Packers one. And episode. Do we want to dive Packers. into some NFL talk, though, this episode? During the regular they say, season. Tater Talk Castro. Nah. Hot dish. <laughs> I mean, I feel like That's there's a favorite. lot of things that happened in the NFL since the last time we talked about the NFL, there's so we been, probably should. Because last some fucking week, game breaker trades. We barely talked about anything last week before we fucking got into our mock draft. Yeah. You got quite literally the biggest upheaval of the quarterback position in NFL history in one offseason, this offseason. 
It's absurd. Devontae Adams out of nowhere gets traded. Tyreek uh, Hill, probably even more surprising. He goes after Devontae Adams. They both get massive contracts. Gets a bigger bigger contract and gets more capital in return for him, which was surprising to me because when everyone talks about Devontae Adams as the best wide receiver in the game, obviously other people might think that that quarterback, I forget his name in Green Bay, yep. might have had mm. something to do with it. Charlie? But what you know what the worst thing is about this? Is Bill O'Brien has to feel like an idiot. Because DeAndre Hopkins was looked at as better. He was younger than those receivers when they traded him, and he got a second round pick for him. That's true. He yeah. was younger than Devontae Adams is right now when they he traded DeAndre Hopkins. It's Bill true. O'Brien's is an idiot. We all know that. But massive fantasy downgrades for both those quarterbacks in Green Bay and Kansas City, in my opinion. Brandon, it you, ain't you worth the paper you fucking wrote it on. Come Dude. on, man. You really think... MVS <laughs> is going to have at least two touchdowns of 60 yards plus, and oh, that's about it. Yeah, probably. wait. For the fifth year in a row, this is Miko Hardman's year. <laughs> Come on. Hell let's yeah. hear it again. Come on, Brandon. Hit Super, me with it. Matt Ryan, it did Matt Superstar Ryan happen after Miko Hardman. Put some respect on his name. <laughs> and you, you think it's going to put Mahomes in what? QB 15? Not fi- I didn't say 15. I just said they're downgrades to their position. Didn't you say in last fantasy. place in fantasy in his division? I you said, did. And out I of tried the to, AFC West, tried to make I believe bet. the other three will do better. Was Carr fantasy the one that West. worries you the most? Carr is the one that worries me the most. But How about this? I got, Adams, up I, like I got a straight-up bet for you here, then. <sighs> you put 20 on, he finishes last. I put 20 on, he finishes first. And if it's anywhere in between, I'll it's take a that wash. all day. Fantasy points for the season. Yep, all cool. day. And I got a trivia question for you guys. That's a Herbert versus. Yeah, that's a good bet. That's a decent bet. I like that bet. That's a fair. See, that's how you make a fair bet. Not, oh, I get three guys. You get one. You said you, he'd be worse. You, you said, said he'd bet. You'd bet on it. You bet. said you believed it. that he was gonna get last. I said I did not say he won't I get last. Bet. That was a 50-50 you proposition. You said you believe that I he's said, going I to get last. I said I believe he would get last. You said I bet he won't. Yes. So I said, all right, you get three guys. I get the one. Give me three to one odds. And you you said, said he was going to be last. <laughs> I said he wouldn't. That's what you said. What, what did Brandon say, Gage? He said, I'm a chicken. <laughs> you backed out of the bet, not me. <laughs> all right, you guys ready for my trivia question? I'm ready for I'm your ready. trivia <laughs> question. All right. Projected 32 <laughs> starting quarterbacks in the league next year. 16 of those projected are currently on the team who originally drafted them. Oh. Of those 16, so 50% of the league projected week one starting quarterbacks, uh, of the 16, five of them are not on their rookie deal. So they're on second, third, fourth contract. Name the five quarterbacks that are just Starting for the Fucking team that a, drafted him. Play the sounder. Him. Yep. Butthole five, dog. Okay, can we just start this right now? But he I, just I, I just thought we were going to rip him. It was a butthole five. Yeah, like, but there's no tiebreaker or anything. It's we. So you got to get just it. Let's play this beginning part. All right, Aaron Rodgers. Are we going against just, each other? Just go. No, I just yeah. wanted to see Patrick you guys can name us. Josh It Allen. is now time to play butthole five. Lamar Jackson. He's not, not on a he's second on his contract, contract yet. Yeah. Oh, shit. Who else would it be? Wait, how many do we have? Three? You have three we so have far. Three. Uh, Josh Allen. I already said Josh Allen. Shit. It's, it's, it seemed like a low number to me. I was like, I wonder Dak how Prescott. many people are, you know, this, this, you drafted them. Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, four. You're missing one. Derek Carr. Yep, boom. You got him quicker than I thought you'd get him. That's pretty solid, man. That's a good fucking bit. That's so out of question. the whole league, I literally half the league has got their guy time. they drafted, and only five are on their second contract or later. Yeah, which means like, that eleven is teams on have QBs on their rookie contracts. Rodgers, Mahomes, Carr, Allen, Allen, Aaron, Prescott, Prescott, and there is some imminent in Lamar Jackson and Kyler Murray and stuff like that coming in. But still, sure. that are probably going to. Get that second contract, but yeah, only five projected day one starters are on the team that drafted them on past their rookie contract. I think of those five, Rogers, Mahomes, Allen, it was Carr, and then who's the fifth? Prescott. 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 Those four, besides 
car are like fucking amazing. Like they're really great. Top ten for sure. Yeah, but Carr's had spurts where he has been. Carr could have shown. a good year one year where he's like a top five. And pair him with fucking Adams yeah. from his college days. And like, give him the walrus and give him Renfro. Him. Josh Jacobs. All right. That was enough. Just stopped at Renfro. <laughs> <laughs> but, but probably I, draft a first round guy. Imagine if they had well no, they don't have a first round pick. Imagine if they had Henry I just to a real, throw the ball oh, to. God damn it. <laughs> Do it. Imagine if they had, you know, Damon Arnett playing on the edge, too. Ooh. Wee! I'm sure there's other players that I'm got surprised, honestly, team, that but... the Raiders made that trade because Josh McDaniels doesn't seem like the type that would do that from the Belichick tree. But, but maybe he wanted to. Belichick never did. That's true. Plus, if you're Josh McDaniels and you're an offensive guy, who the fuck's going to say no to Walter? Yeah, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hear you. Like, oh, we could trade you him, and he'll just be yours. Yeah, where do I sign? And there's a one and a two they gave up for him. Yeah. I think think they might have won that deal. The thing that sucks is the contract, though. Yeah. Like, that's like that like, sucks for us as Vikings fans. It does because Jefferson, Jefferson, is, Jefferson? is going to want that. He's going to want <laughs> he's 30, get 30 million a year. Yeah, he'll get 25 plus a year. But he, he's worth it, like, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is any player? If is you have a rookie quarterback, quarterback with, if you have a young JJ? quarterback, Ooh. JJ is worth it for like two or three years for, for sure. sure. If yeah, it's a it's window, just, what's, it's when's still... this next bump going to come? Like a a top paid wide receiver just five years ago was like thirteen million. You got to remember though, that's a huge climb a in a five year span. Jump. Once the to NFL to the salary 30. cap goes up, it's supposed to be escalating a bunch in the next tier two three years. Uh, thirty million will be more like the new twenty. Would you rather? I'd be fine paying JJ twenty this year. Like, the issue is, if you're paying one or two players that much money, where it's going to come out to, I mean, imagine your quarterback is going to be worth close to forty million, if not more than that, on average. Quarterbacks God, are worth not. on it, average. It will it'll be. be thirty-five, forty for sure. Well, if you're going to pay a wide receiver thirty million dollars, your quarterback is worth forty to forty-five at it's, least. It's got to change the landscape of the league where you have to get a rookie quarterback that's successful. Because I'm I telling think, you guys, I mentioned not, it on cast. It's not feasible. All Quarterbacks the time. should not go against the cap. They should have their own thing. I think there shouldn't be a cap. Let's get it like baseball. Cancel out the there. cap. Get rid of the cap. So have a luxury tax and shit if you go into the luxury, but other than that, let it be free reign. It's all up to the owners. Owner, yeah, who wants to spend money? Are. God, Jerry Jones would win a lot of Super Bowls. <laughs> nah, you think so? Trying. He would. Isn't he actually one of the, the teams? Isn't he's he one of the poorest owners. No, all I think of his he's money one of, is in. I no, no, think he's one I'm of the thinking richest. of uh, Davis, Al Davis, or uh, the owner Al of the Davis. Raiders, Al Davis. But does uh, Al no. Davis die? No, it's Al Davis' son. Chad. Chad Davis. Yeah. Mark. Mark Davis. That's who it is. So Mark Davis, he's like one of the poorest. The Raiders would suck. The NFL doesn't want that. Keep the cap. <laughs> you convinced yourself in yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it's like you went from, you know, my body, my choice to not your body, your choice in a matter of minutes. Well, you know, I'm really, really wishy-washy. How do they make it work in baseball? The baseball, what they do is no salary or no cap, but no. if they spend over Just what they set every year as a sorry. number, that's they have to pay sorry. stupid taxes on it. So, so the way like, it works is it's the like the luxury tax in it, the NBA. The first year you do it, it's like a 20% of the ta- uh, the cap you go over, you pay that. Pay it to the league the offices league. or it something like that. It gets split up amongst year, all the other owners. Second year, oh, 25, okay. second year in a row, the percentage goes up. And then it goes up more. So, so twenty five paying thirty five asshole in this. The fourth yep. year is like fifty percent, and that's why the Yankees they did it like four years in a row, and then like we can't because the fifth year is like seventy five percent. Oh, that's so. A, yeah, they make it. We're like and they weren't it's even winning. Fuck you, money. So now the times, so. so now the Yankees will go all in for like two years and then shed everything. They did all that just to beat the Twins in the first round of the playoffs. <laughs> just to whoop our ass, God, sweep us in the I series. Think, what do they have against us? We did it just make look this sense. up. Everything. But do you guys remember who the richest NFL owner is? The richest. He's new. Ooh. Uh Jaguars. No. Cardia. Cronky. He's new. Newish. Last Jaguars. three years. No, nope. I just said that. The new owner. Uh, Last three years? Three or four years, I think he came in. What the fuck? The Niners. Oh. 
Oh. Seattle. Green Bay. They just handed out a few more owner slips. <laughs> Carolina. David it's Tepper. Tepper. Uh, I did not realize that he's new. Yeah, he sold. Huh? The previous owner. Yeah, but yeah. Is I, he a, I, it was one of those. I don't remember if it was maybe the Amazon series where they have the football team. They go through the season with them, but it was his first season was the, when they did it. Oh, and you got to watch him. You know, it was like Cam's last year there before they brought coming him back. to his own. Well, he was just. He seemed like a fan. He'd like show up to all the games. He's a younger dude, and it's like I just love this team. I just want it to be good. He's a Steelers like. Grew up a Steelers fan, I think. Wait, Cam, you guys... I'm back, Newton. Yep. Yeah. Okay. What about um? Shit, what was I gonna say? <laughs> oh, what about oh, the he's Detroit 64. Lions? He's 64. He's not young. He just looked shit. young. What about the Lions on? Well, that's what happens when you drink the blood of children. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Lions being on hard knocks? Do I don't. How about them getting the draft? They got well, the, draft. the draft. The draft is going there. Draft is going to there. Detroit? I Detroit. think I'm going to uh, Lock your cars. going down to U.S. <laughs> Bank coming. for the draft. Holy shit. Are you serious? Yeah. Dude, the, like the, the Vikings draft party, watch yeah. party or whatever? So there's like $15 for a general admission ticket. And then I think me and my buddy were actually talking about doing, it's like a red zone ticket. And you get to go an hour early and do like meet and greet with a bunch of current and former Ooh, players. that'd be Ooh, sick. It's got a, a little price tag on it, but it's. Comes with like a buffet dinner, three free uh, beers. Really? Yeah. And I was What's like, the price tag? Two hundred bucks. One hundred forty. Oh, that ain't even bad. That's dude, a that deal, is not bad dude. at all. I would pay that. Dinner yeah, and you three get, beers. That's... You get like a special area you get to stand into on the field. That's like closer to the stage and stuff Fuck like that. Yeah. So I was like, ah, uh, that's pretty that, worth that'd it. Be down, I'd go to that thing. That's at the bank. Yeah. It's like an on-field party thing. On day one or like just, just Thursday fun. night? That would be stupid night. fun. That would be awesome. That would be super dope. Should we go to Detroit for the draft? That'd be fucking nah. sick. I, like I wish kidneys. it was somewhere else. Yeah, like I Vegas really like, like watching it on dope. my couch. I'm not going to lie. I really like watching it on someone else's couch right now. I have to work the next day. <laughs> oh. And you can maybe podcast for We just for get to go hours. play baseball <laughs> and just Fuck. get hammered. Yeah. That was kind of fun. I mean, It I'm, was so fun. I'm in. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't want a podcast for the whole time. Uh, no. Just afterwards. Hey, at least they got all their fucking trades out of the way, so there's not that uh, shotgun deal we had before. <laughs> oh, fuck. What, can you guys break Dude, the top they're... fifty without me or what? No. I broke the broke the top sixty five. <laughs> sixty five. Uh, I did see somewhere that a quarter of the league doesn't have a first round pick this year. Yeah. <laughs> It's stupid insane. Yeah, you know what it is? It's the fucking Rams. The Rams way has infiltrated the NFL. Who was it that was just saying? The uh, Tyreek Hill, I think. He's like, look at the Rams. They're just draft picks. F them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if Tyreek said that, that's fucking He legendary. did say that. Yeah. I did not see that. That's fucking funny, though. God damn. F the draft picks. You win a Super Bowl without them. Well, there is something to be said about like a fifth or whatever it was for Von Miller for three for half the year. I would do that every easy, day. Easy, easy. Like every day, I would do that. But do you think there's any truth in the Tom Brady rumors or no? Wanting out and wanting to go to Miami. Yeah. Well, is that him wanting to go to Miami or is that Miami wanting him? That's him wanting to go to Miami, dude. He wanted Mike to go McDaniel, there beforehand. Literally every single player that has decided to sign with Miami that matters, Terran Armstead, fucking Tyreek Hill, they're all like stupid excited to play for Mike McDaniel. He was the guy I wanted. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Mike you, McDaniel you like is Hawk? the Huh? You don't like Hawk? I was what it was the like, 49ers pre- offensive thing. I was like saying I want this guy. I don't know why he's not even wait, involved in talks right now. Quarterback Mike McDaniels? But then he was linked to McDaniels Dolphins for a while. is the guy, right? Yeah. Danny McDaniels? Danny McBride. Sure. No, who's the... Uh, uh, Danny Josh McDaniels. Josh McDaniels. You went to the, the Raiders. Raiders. Oh, okay. So Danny McDaniels is... I'm, I can't say this. Danny McDaniels is the Miami Stop. Dolphins head coach. <laughs> Danny McDaniels is the Dolphins head coach. McDaniel. Huge. What's his first name? Danny. It's Daniel, technically. It's Danny McDaniels? Danny McDaniel. God damn McDaniels z- 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 with an S. Daniel Brady wanted to go to Miami before he went to Tampa Bay. Danny McDaniel with the Dolphins. 
Chase if that were true, head then why is Brian Flores yeah. saying that he didn't? Saying that the, they wanted him to tamper because they wanted him so bad. Gosh, I, it makes sense yeah. to go to Miami to really fuck the Patriots, though, right? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Is I it, think it does. I don't know if that's a better team than the Bucks. It doesn't matter if it's a better team, though. It's like, all right, when do you want I'm going to make a piss load of money. I'm going to pay zero taxes, and I'm going to play my former team who said I'm not worth it anymore. I, the taxes probably does more for them. I don't know the if the Patriots said he's not worth it anymore. But how they much said they different ain't paying him? How much different is I the weather in Miami out, than so it is in Tampa like, Bay? How about Miami to New England, bitch? Miami to New England is a lot better. Even Miami yeah. to Tampa Bay is a, a difference, but not that drastic. You're looking at one's Gulf Coast, one's Atlantic side. Uh, you got to look at how great the Coke is, or you know the other. Oh yeah, the music, the food, the, the, the Coke, culture. The Coke is way better. In Miami. Exactly. And the strippers. Tampa's Tampa's got good. Like, Tampa's not low on the list of Coke and strippers by any means. I'd say it's lower than Miami. <laughs> yeah, but. Like, Columbia, Miami, Tampa Bay. <laughs> and where is uh, kissing your kids the most acceptable? Probably T- Miami. No, Tampa. Alabama. Alabama. By far, Tampa. Alabama would be one and only. Alabama. Like, there ain't no Alabama team. In he the can't middle. play for the Crimson Tide. <laughs> He's got a year left of eligibility. <laughs> Epic if a fucking pro player that's 45, 45 just going like, back to play college. I've decided. <laughs> See, the reason well, I say his Tampa, name plays golf at ASU was J.R. Smith. Yeah, the basketball player. Yeah. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. But did he skip college altogether? I'm not sure how it works. No, he couldn't because I think Kobe was the last year that they allowed that, or maybe LeBron. LeBron, LeBron and J.R. Smith is about the same age, right? Uh, who do you think's I'm older? Not sure. I'm gonna go J.R. Smith. I'm gonna say LeBron's older. I mean, LeBron's got dusty How balls. How old is J.R. Smith? Just Google it, you He's lazy fuck. Thirty-six, September ninth, nineteen eighty-five. LeBron's older. How old is Ladouche James? <laughs> LeBron. Oh, pull him up. He's fifty-seven. <laughs> How old is LeBron James? There's actually a Ladouche James. He's thirty-seven. So they could have been the same draft class. Yeah. Uh, technically, yeah. So it's very likely J.R. Smith just totally skipped the draft, and now he's using his college eligibility for golf as a highly successful millionaire basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a pretty big golf he's, contract, though. And he's he's a big proponent for the, uh, what's that contract they signed with college players so they can make money? NIL. Yeah, he's a big player for that. Now, is he hitting from the women's tee? Uh, he is taking a little bit of estrogen, so he's definitely, said he might be able he's to. definitely decent. Instead of James Roberts, it's Julia Roberts Smith. He did forego college and declared okay. 2004 NBA draft. For Deep he was I never 18th. knew you, you had that basketball knowledge in you. I'm a basketball connoisseur. Dude, you are. I'm There's, shocked. I'm literally How shocked. are the Timberwolves doing this year? Dude, they were on a tear. We talked about them, and they've lost almost every game since. No, they have not. They won one. They're one they won one three. They lost almost every game since. Yeah, they've since. only lost three out of four. Dude. I'm just saying, never. every game Scott goes to, we lose. They're weird. You were every the game, game I've been Scott, to, we lost. You fucking jinx. Every game I've been to, we've lost. It's true. Not saying it's your fault. Do you know the last I've basketball never seen game? They were on at Target Center. a tear of a schedule right now. <laughs> it's, and it's probably good before the playoffs so that we go through this, but. It was we played a whole bunch of teams that were below us for a six game streak, and then now we're playing a whole bunch of teams that are ahead of us for a, an eight game streak. So. Yep. When do the playoffs start? <laughs> we um, got like eight games left. The Wolves do. Yeah, and then oh, so really? what we're wow. most likely going to have to do is do the play in tournament. And then if we win that, we're going to play Memphis as the nine or ten seed. On seven. The couch. So oh, it's seven, seven through eight, ten. Nine, ten. Seven plays eight for seven. Win one, and you're in. Win, and you're in. The loser of seven eight plays the winner of nine ten for the eight seed. So we'll be seven or eight. We'll be, we'll one be of the yeah. One we're not falling eight. down to nine or ten for sure. Well, that's pretty dope. Yeah. So, but it would be real nice if we could get six and not have to worry about some one offs against the Lakers or Clippers. Where who knows what can happen if LeBron decides to go off for a game? And are the top yeah, end teams the play. one two like amazing? 
Um, so right now, two is the Memphis Grizzlies, and three is the Warriors. And I would argue that we match up better with Memphis. I was actually at a game against Memphis earlier this year. We beat them by the 45. Series. Shit. And so I I kind of would rather have that seven. I don't want to play against Steph and Clay. Yeah. Clay. 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 Going, going through puberty. Oh, Clay oh, man over there. Yeah. Clay. Memphis is still a young team. It's not like they're guaranteed to make a run in the playoffs, just like we people would think we're not going to make a run in the playoffs. But I think we could potentially compete in a series against Memphis. Memphis, I think we could beat potentially. Yeah. I think if I don't, we're not beating the Suns. If we if get we played seed. Memphis, I would actually put money on Wolves in seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd be Ooh. fun to go to a home playoff game. It would be. I don't Do see a reason on that? we don't win. Let's the just shit. wait until we play them. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm down. Scott jinxes it with the bet before we even... He would go to the game, too. <laughs> I heard the I Wild, all of them. The wild are decent. <laughs> yeah, the Wild have turned it around. I'm only a couple losses before Scott's on Twitter saying they suck. They the won a couple... season's over. A couple overtime games. I think they're no, last that's 10. that's after they lose their first playoff game. <laughs> last 10, they're on a pretty good tier. We have two goalies now for a little bit there. We had no goalies. That's true. And now we have two. <laughs> Sweet. Flurry and... We have an embarrassment. Uh, Talbot is, Talbot's is a goalie again. getting good again. He's a goalie again. <laughs> oh, I thought it was uh, McFlurry and Frozen Custard. <laughs> Those aren't our goalies. Well, we got McFlurry. That's for damn sure. McFlurry is solid. When he's, Concrete uh, mixer and McFlurry, baby. When the ice machine is working, they're on fire. I was heard. kind of sucks. It never works. McFlurry <laughs> and Misty Freeze. I, had, I went to McDonald's, and I ordered on the machine. Ooh. Which I'm not. I usually just go up and order yep. if they let me. But I've recently I've been doing it on the machine, see if I can find any good deals or anything that's on there that I don't know about. Yep. And I ordered a, uh, what, what's the Shamrock McFlurry, for before St. Patrick's Day. So this might have been a couple weeks ago, whatever. And I'm waiting for my meal. They come out and they said, the ice cream machine's broken. And I was like, okay. They're like, do you want something else? This, that. I was like, I'll just take a refund. Like, I didn't really need it in the first place. So I was probably going to hate myself afterwards. <laughs> so I'll just take a refund. She goes, okay. And she just hands me $3. And I paid with card. I was like, it's more than $3. She goes, how much was it? <laughs> she like, I just did not want to go back in the system and actually refund my money on my card. <laughs> it was $27. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Look, she goes, here, like, here's like four and a quarter. Like, it was, I was like, it probably wasn't more than that, but... <laughs> That is I just thought it was so That's funny bullshit. that she's like, here, I'll just give you a refund. And like throws me $3 out of her cash register. That is funny. I, no science to this whatsoever. I think she deserves $20 an hour. No. <laughs> I, you know I might Probably be a hassle right. to try to go back into the order and reverse it on my card, but. I didn't mind the cash, I guess. And not that it would be that hard, but like it's probably not something that they exactly know how to do very easily. Probably, uh, yeah. probably have to call somebody. And I mean, all you have to do is look up in the system. Yeah. You I wouldn't know in, how to do it. You just type in McFlurry, and it says, okay, after taxes, McFlurry is 376 No, I'm saying to put the money back to his card, though. Oh, uh, most of those machines, I think you just hit refund, and you just put your card back in. That's what they do at, like, Home Depot. I have no clue. I've never done it. I don't know. I don't think it's probably that hard. Home Depot's for the good people, though, you know? Nah. Menards all the way. I'm actually a big Menards fan. Like After Lowe's. living, when we Lowe's? lived at our last house, we would go to Home Depot like pretty pretty much all the time because it was only 20 minutes from our house. Now Menards is five, and I think I like Menards better. You know what's good about Lowe's? What? There's a Dunkin' Donuts in the parking lot. Oh, yeah! That's not all of them, though, okay? <laughs> That's the one I go to. <laughs> <laughs> Plymouth? Yeah. There's a Dunkin' there? Oh, yeah. Star can confirm it's... every single Lowe's he's been to has a Dunkin' Donuts in the parking There's lot. There's that sandwich now, shop, he's only too. been to one. Pop Bellies? Yeah, Pop Bellies is damn good over there. Gotcha, bitch. And they have Leanne Chan's. Pop Bellies fucking slaps. They have what Smash Burger. Needs? You know what is pretty good? Jersey Mike's. I just had that the I'd, other day. I'm, it might be overrated. I don't know yet. Do you get a hot sandwich or a cold sandwich? Uh, I prefer hot sandwiches everywhere I go, besides yeah. um, Jimmy John's, because they don't offer it. Yeah, but I like Jimmy John's. To me, Jersey Mike's was the perfect serving size. For a regular, you get a giant? Regular. Giant would have been a little much. 
Giant is a that's, way that's too much. Boom, it's basically baby. two regulars. Yeah. I mean, then you have leftovers, which is nice. But a leftover of a hot sandwich is not good not near, that's well. That's leftover what I did today cold with sandwich Subway. isn't good either, though. Huh? Leftover it's, cold sandwich. Subway leftover is not very good. Uh, not great. No, I can concur. Depends what you get mm. for lubes on it. That is maybe true, but what do you normally get? Because I've never had one that's good. I get, so you can get at uh, Jimmy John's. You get the Slims, yep. and they come with zero lubes. You put lubes on yourself, and oh, then you can keep yes. those in, like, your refrigerator. And That's when fair. I was in college, I'd grab, like, five of them because they were three bucks a piece, yep. and I'd just throw them in a drawer, and I'd have my Italian Slim Fives. That's I'd actually pull pretty out, solid. And then throw some even, mayonnaise on it. and You're rocking and rolling. Yeah, it was my weekend. That's Chipotle and good. Southwest are my go-to. At the Subways? Mm-hmm. Uh, they Especially did. They a had a cheese. sriracha ranch. That they don't have anymore. Ooh, that used was to be really good. good. Yeah, I'm not a Subway fan though. That, that was a part of growing up in a town where they had one fast food restaurant and yeah. it was Subway. Yeah, same. Does that not make you just despise it? I don't despise it, but I definitely don't prefer it. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I mean, I, I would, would go to any other sandwich spot besides it. It's I would still too. My only option. Too. It's still my only fast food option here. That's should we true. uh should we throw out some power rankings for sandwich spots? Oh, absolutely. I mean, where there's so Subway, Jimmy Quiznos, John's, is that Quiznos, on there? Quiz, uh, Quiznos has to count. Firehouse Subs, never been. Never been. Either. Firehouse is pretty damn but good. There's like Jersey Charlie's Mike's. Subs, like there's a, a lot of those like a lot of those lesser known ones. Okay, so let's keep it pretty mainstream. We all have to know of them before we can rank them. So we got Subway. Or yep. all had to Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's. Herberts and Gerbers. You all yeah. had that? I've yep. had Herbs and Gerbs. Yep. yep. Well, you haven't had that you, gauge? There's Don't a, me. I'm Herbs a and Gerbs dude. in Anoka. That's gauge, like the only one I go this? to. <laughs> What's Don't, Gage's go-to sandwich? Uh, for me personally. Ham and cheese. For me personally. Yeah, oh, yeah. Ham, turkey. What's it called? The club? Uh, the Subway melt is good. But nope. the club is nope. good. I'm going ham, turkey, and meat. All the roast meat, beef. Baby. Roast beef. Did bacon. you say ham, turkey, and meat? <laughs> I meant bacon. <laughs> he, did. he did. I meant bacon. Ham, turkey, bacon. That's my choice. Did you roast beef, pepperoni. Yeah, there was one the other day. Yeah, pot belly that had salami. <laughs> Look, had, green uh, pepper. No, 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 no vegetables. That's my food. Spinach. Food. Nope, that's also kale my food sprinkled food. on top. What right? about like food. a Devani's hot hoagies spot? You guys, I've never had. Oh yeah, Devani. They got some good sandwiches too. They just don't put a lot of meat on it. See, that's my yeah, issue. I'm, I'm a double meat kind of guy. Yeah. And only meat. I so. think Jimmy John's is probably the most consistent and my favorite. I love Jimmy John's. We the get bread it is the best. Now that we live close to it, we get it way too much. What are you getting? Uh, you get bootlegger? I'm going pot belly. Me? Pot belly's number oh, one. Dude, pot every single food? time we've gone, I've had something different. Uh, for Jimmy John's? Yeah. I really like the... Um, God, what the hell is it? The Hunter one or something like Hunter's that? Hunter's Club? Yeah. I really like that one. That one's good. The bootlegger's super good. I go bootlegger. The Sometimes Cubano, I bootlegger I like. add bacon. Okay. I like the Cubano. Pot belly. Turkey Tom's good. Classic. You guys have cheddar chicken. And you got the A Rack. Yep. The A Rack's good. The Lodge. You guys ever have the Lodge wraps? Never had the no. Lodge. Nope. No. Oh, is that like a sit down restaurant? In Watertown. I think I have then. Never had a wrap there. Actually, I've had a lot of wraps from there. I used to go there a lot. <laughs> Especially when you lived with Matt. Yeah. When, God, when Patches and I lived together, we went there once a week minimum. Are we Wednesday. missing any sandwich spots? Like big ones? Jimmy John's is probably like three on the list for me. Where, who do you have as one? Do you have a, a clear cut one? Or? He said Pop Belly. Pop Belly is my number one. Pop Belly is fucking good. I agree. Pop Belly. I love Pop Belly. Um, man, I had Jersey a really Mike's good... is new, so you probably can't rank it too high. But it was good. Like but it. I don't. I'd say Subway is probably my number two. Quiznos. Just because you have a little bit more versatility, in my opinion. You do have versatility at Subway. And I do like the fact that they let you build your own sandwich. Yep. Pick yep. your you condiments on there. You build your own there. sandwich anywhere. It's just going to cost you a lot more. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Has any of you guys had Witch Witch? Nope. No. I actually have had that one. 
That Firehouse is, is super good. I like Firehouse. I haven't had, had it. I think Firehouse is in the line with like Jersey Mike's. Am I wrong? Milio's uh, subs. I actually like Firehouse a little more. Milio's. Okay. Milo's. It's like M I L I O. Oh, somebody running up on top of the hill up there. I haven't had that one. That was kind of similar to a Jim John's. I guess I haven't had a ton of sandwich shops then because I live by a subway. <laughs> subway is one and four one. for me. Now I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, we should not be talking about that. <laughs> All right, Dude, favorite fried chips. chicken joint? Canes, no doubt. I don't think that's fried. It's, it's fried, like broiled. For sure. I think every fucking chicken joint is fried. No, the drive-in, Minton drive-in, best chicken there is, not fried. So, would you consider chicken strips fried chicken, or does it have to be like a breast? Nah, leg? chicken strips are fried chicken. They are. So, if you're talking about fried chicken... Would if you want it to be fried chicken, it's like KFC. If Which is, KFC's like got fried some damn chicken. good fried chicken. They do, but I mean, if chicken strips count as fried chicken, then Dairy Queen has fried chicken. But that's no, not but true. That's not only fried chicken though. They got a bunch of shit. Dairy Queen. Yeah, I'm not talking only chicken shops. You're just saying who has the best chicken? Yeah, best fried chicken. It's the Minnetonka Drive-In. It's not so even good. Close. Their barbecue Ooh. sauce. Oh, dude, that place fire. is lit. The Minnetonka Drive-In? Oh, yeah. yeah. You ever oh, been? Oh, no. Yeah. All right. What are you you got to come over What sometime. are you doing sometime? Yeah. You guys haven't had Jet's Pizza, so I don't yes, know. Yes, we have. Had it at your house. I've had it like three times now. Yeah, thanks to me. Remember you brought that shitty Jet's Pizza over that one time? Was it for the draft? Never. Actually, There's Alyssa. No such thing as a shitty Jet's Pizza. You went to the wrong location. You went. Uh... Oh, that was that was just a football day over here. That was okay. brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was wrong. There's shitty jets. We actually had one time uh, yesterday, actually, where we got done grocery shopping. We were both super hungry, and Alyssa's like, "Oh, let's go get Jets pizza." And I was like, "You know, I'll just starve." Fuck off. I'd ra- I'd rather be hungry. <laughs> so she ate Jets, and I just didn't eat. But I will not ever eat Jets pizza. I think with the uh, the Minnetonka drive-in, though, you almost have to eat it fresh. You don't want to let it sit yes. in its juices. No. Definitely not. This might it's be not something we to need be. to we need to go there and eat. I I'm down now. Ah, uh, it's probably not open yet. They're seasonal. Yeah. Well, how can they be best if they're not even open twenty four seven twenty four hours? They can not twenty four hours, but they they vacation they because they're they're a drive in. No, the nope. Sorry, I disagree. If you can't get that fucking food all year long, they can't be tops. I would actually agree. It's bullshit. If you have the best, you sell it all the time. Yep, I agree. Does that apply to everything? everything? Yes, and that's why fucking... What's that shitty place, Chick-fil-A? That doesn't make my list. Period. Because they're not open Sundays? Open your bitch ass on Sunday. Chick-fil-A is fucking good, though. Very good. I I've, think... what it, I've never had Raising Cane's, but Chick-fil-A is probably my favorite chicken yeah. joint. You that's have a, not had Cane's? That's no. a sin. Oh, my god, That's an absolute sin. I don't sin. live by You know what's one. a worse sin? Letting your butt get it without getting it. Swapping the fucking coleslaw. Yeah. The toast. I'm yeah. sorry, Brandon. You could be on the phone with somebody <laughs> who's a Cane's expert. Did you? And he hears slaw? you. I got slaw. I, got slaw. I ordered it. How was I the get... slaw? <laughs> I've never had it. <laughs> it, wasn't oh. bad it wasn't bad. <laughs> what the fuck did you get coleslaw? He not only what got the slaw, Texas but he toast? ate the slaw. You can swap the toast for or swap yeah. the slaw for toast. Dude, I was on doing? the phone with Gage as it, as it was happening. I was ordering. And you didn't tell him what to do. No, That's legendary. <laughs> He's like, you're going to figure this one out the hard way, bud. Oh, oh fuck. So now you want to go back, don't you? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. Maple Grove, baby. That's the one I go to. I haven't been since. That fucker's bum rushing you, dude. Get him. I don't Get him. Last time there you go. Good job. Woo. Uh, yeah, since I've been. Is there one? There's one over by the we'll fitness place by Anoka, isn't is there? Listening? There's. What's the one up? Um, You jump on the highway and then you jump off the highway. Cool Rapids. Yeah, it's, there's like a fitness center there. Coon oh, center. wait, what? The Raisin Canes. It's not by a fitness center. It's not. What's one up in like Shoreview, Shorewood? There's one up there. Yeah, there's probably one over there, yeah. I've I've been to it's that a, one, and I've been town. to Maple Grove. Coon Rapids is pretty busy. There's one in, uh, in not Shoreview. I think it's like Vatness Heights. To fight, Vat, Vatness Heights. And that one is like... The stupid longest line I've ever fucking seen. You'll never have a long line at 
Chick fil A. Yes. Nope. Never. I mean, lunchtime. Lunchtime? Still not even long. Okay. Well, it might be. Like, the line might be. Long, okay, so the line might be wise. long, but your wait time isn't bad. That, yeah. That's a better point. Yeah. Yeah, Chick fil A or uh, Canes, that shit's just long because it's quality shit they're selling there. That's high quality shit here, bud. Those purple crows are fucking awesome. All right. All right I, I want to get Sorry. you guys uh, is this get you guys by the Walmart thoughts. and the Costco? Is that Coon Rapids? Yeah, that's Coon Ratchet. Yeah, that's the one I went to. Just really yeah, quick on where the um, basically where the NFC North stands right now. What do you think the Vikings win total is for 2022 23? <laughs> well, it's the off season. They're getting 12 wins at least. Uh, there's 17 games, which means that we're going to have 17 W's, baby. Let's go. I'll get it right, and I'll say 11. <laughs> or wait, 11. Kirk Cousins, our quarterback, 8. Oh! Hey, Kirk's our dog. He is our dog. Yes, he is. Players after, love Kirk. After what he wrote down through last season, he is my dog. He went in there with a the list. He was yes, ready he for did. that meeting. And he knew exactly what he was going to say to win over that locker room. And you know what? Kirk's my dog. Who the hell said that? Players. Every Wait, single player. On which the team. player? I don't know. All of them. Bunch of veterans. Benton Lieber reported on his podcast, Unrestricted, that the... What was that, Adam Thielen? Kirk and a bunch <laughs> of the veterans had a team meeting at the end of the year, and Kirk brought a notebook with and laid out all of the areas that Zimmer had wronged him during the year. So he did the same thing like Zimmer did. in every did. way. Yep. Well, he... And he brought up, you know, things other players had talked to him about and ways he's going to change. And they're like, wow, he really listens. Splash down some. He really listens to us. Oh, he's paying attention. He wasn't yes. just not listening when we have concerns or anything like that. Oh, man. So I, hopefully it works. Yeah, baby. I, I mean, honestly, you finally have an offensive-minded head coach for the elite Kirk Cousins. We might draft a tight end in round two. I saw mock draft doing that, so that's exciting. That'd be awful. That would be literally awful. And an offense that doesn't even like tight ends, that would be terrible. Oh, man, I was looking at the draft that we got our other boy in. What the fuck? What's his name? Alabama. Scott, uh, I'm looking at you. Sorry. Who's, what was our tight end's name? Irv. Irv Smith. Smith. The players that went, like the four picks after him, studs. Who were they? It was like A.J. Brown, D.K. Metcalf was later in the draft, a bunch of wide receivers. Brutal. But if we would have got one of them, would we have got J.J.? Mm, not likely. I mean, I, I guess don't know. The, the question is. He just reaches three of the. Is DK, there's only three epics. You have all three of them, dude. Is D.K. really that no, good? No, those are legendary. I or, think yeah. he'd be better than Irv Smith. I Wait. think we could play him at tight end, and he'd have a better tight end career than Irv Smith. Wait, fucking A! Who? No! DK Metcalf. Yeah, Just I got third party like a motherfucker. You that played. was so close. You placed fourth. Why Dang does it. it all sound so weird? Is that everyone? What? I can't hear out of my left mic. What? Is it? Did Scott just unplug you? How do you guys sound now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, he just came better. back. It's way better. So that's the NFL. We talked a little basketball. We talked a basketball, little basketball, some hacky. Hey, oh, basketball. Carlos Correa looks all right, boys. And the Twins breaking news as we record this, so it won't be breaking by the time you see it. The Twins signed Chris Archer, pitcher. Oh, to a one year contract. To one year Archer is, he is from Tampa a pretty Bay? fucking yep. decent pitcher, man. I mean, yeah. it would be fair, like three and a half million back dollars a year. The, I don't know how much we're paying him, but he'll be a back end of the rotation pitcher for us, like a fourth. Set up for Rodgers, man. No, no, no. Like a Rodgers starter, middle relief. Like a fourth starter. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So the Twins got a little bit of work to do still on He's the got some good bullpen, stuff. but their starting staff is rounded out now. Awesome. Yeah. Baseball's right around the corner. Should we go to a Fort Myers game? We should. I'd rather go to Vegas. They don't play in Vegas. We Not can still yet. bet on them there. Until them A's move over. Is that a thing? Oakland's definitely out in the next two to five years. All right. Bet on it. Rage, rap, show. Uh, bye. Go jerk off.